With the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, you are going to have an all-new customizable action button, a better camera system with an upgraded periscope zooming feature, thinner bezels and a whole more. Are you kidding me? But if you think these are enough, then you should wait for the new Wi-Fi 6E which will be featured in an iPhone for the first time ever. This new Wi-Fi improves in the current Wi-Fi 6 by working over the 6 GHz band to offer more bandwidth, faster connectivity and lower latency. It will also make augmented and virtual reality experiences even more enjoyable. There's more to know, so grab some popcorn and enjoy today's video. iPhone 15 Lineup September is coming and so is the latest lineup of Apple's products. And as usual there are countless rumors about them. The iPhone 15 lineup for example, are rumored to come with a whole new look including thinner bezels and bigger camera bumps. Prominent amongst such upgrades is the new Wi-Fi 6E which promises to bring faster internet connectivity. The only downside of the Wi-Fi 6E is that only the higher models of the iPhone 15 can support it. Earlier research notes from Barclays analysts Blaine Curtis and Tom O'Malley cited that the Wi-Fi 6E update might be included in all the four models of iPhone 15 including the base iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus models. But recent leaks shared by a tipster known as Unknowns21 indicates that only the Pro models of iPhone 15 will support Wi-Fi 6E. We will have to wait till September to know which models will support it but how different will Wi-Fi 6E be from the previous models? Let's find out. Of course. Wi-Fi 6E the current Wi-Fi 6, which operates in all iPhones, operates on the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands. For an average user who doesn't depend much on a faster internet connection, the Wi-Fi 6's speed should be enough. The problem is it's been over 20 years that the Wi-Fi standard has been using the same chunks of the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands. This is partly the reason why Apple will be seeking to improve the internet connectivity speed of the iPhone 15 Pro models through a faster Wi-Fi 6E which works over the 6 GHz band to offer more bandwidth, faster connectivity and lower latency. It also has the bandwidth required for augmented reality and virtual reality experiences. Note that Wi-Fi 6E is not new to Apple products. The latest 11-inch and 12.9-inch iPad Pro, 14- and 16-inch MacBook Pro and 2023 Mac Mini all support Wi-Fi 6E. However, iPhone 15 Pro models will be the first iPhones to have this new upgrade, probably to separate them from the base models or because of their hefty price tags. But there's a requirement you need to meet before you can enjoy Wi-Fi 6E. More on that next. But before that, please subscribe to our channel for all the updates you need to know about the iPhone 15 lineup. You can trust us for all the exclusives. I trust you. A new router? One advantage that the current Wi-Fi standard has over the Wi-Fi 6E is that you do not need a router to fully access it. But, to create a Wi-Fi 6E network, you need a Wi-Fi router or access point that supports Wi-Fi 6E and has its 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz bands also enabled, preferably using a single network name, SSID, across all bands, as stated by Apple support. The question is do you really have to buy a Wi-Fi 6E router? If you intend to get one of the Pro models of iPhone 15, then you definitely should go for a Wi-Fi 6E router which are available from companies such as Google, Linksys, and Netgear. But if not, then we do not recommend getting a new router especially as you'll need a whole new home internet setup to enjoy the faster speeds. Moreover, because Wi-Fi 6E routers are new to the markets, they are quite expensive. So if you are on a strict budget then we do not recommend buying. Lest I forget, the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max models come with a whole lot of new upgrades. That's next. Other new upgrades. Apple will be making a number of design changes including the addition of a new action button which will replace the current mute switch. The mute switch is good but it is quite limited in terms of functionalities. It can only silence the iPhone. The action button, similar to that of Apple Watch Ultra, can be customized to match users' preferences and for a variety of tasks. For example, it can be used to force restart the iPhone, mute and unmute it, take cameras and shoot videos, and several others, that is not the only upgrade coming. The cameras of the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will have a much bigger bump than that of the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. 
they will also be equipped with a new periscope telephoto lens for better optical zooming. Apart from that, they will have a more rounded edges, solid state volume button, thinner bezels, new chassis materials and a ton of new color options. Which of these features are you most looking forward to seeing in the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max? Let's get interactive in the comments section below. There will also be an upgrade in the LiDAR sensors of the Pro models of the iPhone 15 for a better camera system and for better augmented reality functions. More on that in the next video.